Um, yeah. So we did a thing not this past weekend, but the weekend before. I just I decided that instead of holding on to all of this that we picked up, that I would go ahead and do my hundred pound weight loss donation of food. Um, I can't wait to do the next one at 150. Um, but yeah, so we donated 100 pounds of food. I contacted local like food banks and I got the runaround about bringing down. I told them how much food it was. It wasn't like I was bringing like one bag of food. I was bringing a lot of food. And so I asked them when I could bring it down and they kept giving me, well, you know, you could bring it down between like 10 a.m. and noon. Like they were giving me like two hours a week I could bring it in. And knowing that with my back the way it is, carrying a lot of that by myself was not going to be a good idea. Um, I kind of started looking for other options, which I was really disheartened about because food banks should be at least have some place you can bring food or something, you know, more hours. Like what people who have jobs who want to donate, like it ties their hands because people aren't going to take a day off of work just to come bring food down to the food bank. It's not going to happen. So, um, needless to say, I didn't end up donating it to a food bank. I ended up going a different route. I happened to accidentally see a post about a nearby church that opened up a blessing box. And basically the blessing box is outside, it's enclosed, and it allows people from the area who might need a little bit of extra help just to come and grab a couple things out of the out of the box. And I think it's a great idea. I think more people, more towns should do it because there's a lot of working poor. Um, and obviously these food banks do not have great hours, people who work, to even donate. So how could they possibly have good hours who have jobs? be able to go and get food to help them offset, you know, if a bill comes in and their choice is buy food, pay the bill, you know, sometimes people just don't have a choice. So we decided to donate all 100 pounds of food to the blessing box. And luckily I brought my husband and my son along to videotape, you know, to be able to videotape them carrying the food because there was a lot of food. A hundred pounds of food is a lot of food. Um, but yeah, so that is what we did. We donated our hundred pounds of food to the local, uh, blessing box and I'm really excited to help them. They were very touched by the amount of food we brought and said it would be such a great help for their community. Um, where I live in Alabama, there's a lot of really small towns and, um, Alabama in and of itself is a very poor state. Um, there are a lot of working poor people around here. They're just, they're just are. Um, and until I started working, we definitely were as well. So, I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, granted some of it was our own fault and budgeting and, you know, we had some stuff come up where we had to put stuff on credit cards. So yeah, when I was working and we had money, we got ourselves into a situation where, yeah, money's been tight since I haven't been working, but I'm working now. So things are going to get better. Um, but yeah, so that's what we did. We donated a hundred pounds of food. Um, to a local blessing box. Um, my son is the one in the yellow shirt. My husband is the one in the jeans and like the khaki brown t-shirt. Cause I don't know if you guys have seen a lot of my family, um, but now you get to see them. Um, and yeah, so that is what we did. And I'm excited to share it with you guys. Cause I think um, if you're trying to lose weight, this is a really good way to kind of put a positive motivator for you, or at least for me it is, um, into my weight loss because yeah, I could do something for myself every so many pounds. And I do. I do do stuff for me. But this is a way for me to do for others too. And we try to get as much healthy food that we can. Um, obviously, sometimes it's kind of hard especially with canned goods. But we did get some really healthy stuff. We got some rice, a lot of rice. Um, we got some canned vegetables that were organic. We checked the sodium on a lot of stuff. We did get a few things that weren't super healthy, but... You know, at the end of the day, um, food is better than no food, and um, we tried to keep about 90% of it as super healthy as we could get. Um, and yeah, so that's what we did, and here's the video of the blessing box, and my husband and son carrying everything, because like I said, with my back, wasn't going to happen that day, especially because that day I was in a lot of pain. So here you go, and... Have a wonderful day. Bye.
was my 100 pound weight loss uh, food donation of 100 pounds of food to a local uh, church thing. Um, I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I know Thursday I had talked about how I really wanted to just do a home gym instead of spending $70 on a gym that has crazy hours that don't work for my life and my schedule. Um, so later, I think it was Friday, I got a message from my dad. Um, and for those of you who don't know, my dad actually bought my original set of DDP yoga DVDs for me because I was overweight and I was miserable and I had seen Arthur's video and decided I really want to try it and when I watched it I was so scared I was paralyzed um and I kind of felt at that point like I let him down too because I he spent the money on these discs and I wasn't able to do them and it wasn't that I wasn't physically able I'm sure I could have I was mentally not able um I wasn't there yet and I think everybody has a time where they finally come to a conclusion that they have to change their life and you have to get there on your own time. So it's whatever. Um, what I can tell you is that he messaged me on Friday and he said he was going to send me a late birthday present. And you know, there was other conversation. I'm not going to go through all of it. Um, but what he is sending me to help me get my gym started is a mat that folds out for me to do my yoga on. It's a big, like, cushiony gymnastics mat um, that I had put on my wish list. Not the one that I list on my YouTube channel. This is a personal one I had started for my personal gym, stuff I wanted to get. Um, and he also got me a poster that goes up on the wall that has dumbbell workouts, which is great. So if I'm having a day where... I just really kind of want to work my arms. I don't want maybe my back is bothering me. I can sit in a chair and do the workout, and it's fine. Um, so I'm excited for that. Um, and that came in yesterday, actually. And then um, he got me a rowing machine that was on my list. So I'm super psyched about that. I love rowing machines. I don't know why, but I just am a rowing machine addict. Um, and... He also got me a recumbent cycle. So that's one of the ones that are low to the floor and your feet are out in front of you pedaling. And I really prefer those um, just because for me, I feel safer. I can go a little bit harder than I would on a standing bike that I'm afraid it's going to fall over. Um, it's a fat girl thing. If you're not overweight, maybe you don't understand. Those of you who are overweight probably do get it. Some of these little home bicycles they have for indoors, kind of scary. Um, but yeah. <laughs> and he also gave me the mats to put underneath them on our floor. Um, so I'm really excited about those coming in. Some stuff is coming in today. Some stuff is coming in tomorrow. Um, on our own, we purchased an interlocking square floor to put in the workout space on top of using that mat for yoga. Just so when I'm doing other stuff, other workouts of any kind, I have a cushioned floor to do the workout on. Um I also got a wall mount for my iPad, um, and I got a dongle, I guess it's called, that hooks the TV that will allow my iPad to go to my television set. Um, I'm hoping that works because I really want my DDP to be a little bit bigger than my iPad, because uh, sometimes I really can't see the nuances of what they're doing, and I want a little bit closer look. And to do the workout as close to the iPad sometimes I need to get is a little too close. So, yeah, I'm hoping it works. Because my connector HDMI to iPad does not work. And that was a waste of money, but it's whatever. Um, and I also ordered a stand to put my dumbbells on and my kettlebells, stuff like that. I was able to find three kettlebells on Facebook for $27. A 5-pound, an 8-pound, and a 10-pound. Um, the 5-pound alone to purchase it in me would have been 30 bucks, So it was like getting two free. For me, it was great. Really nice guys. He says we put up more stuff soon. And so I followed him on the sale page so that if he does, I can see it really quickly. Um, but I got a stand to hold all of that stuff so it's organized. Um, I also have an exercise ball that one of my subscribers slash friends, Becky, bought me. And I am so thankful for that. Um, it's been really great. It's great to work out with my back. Um, 
because I can support my back on it to do different things and it's been super helpful. And I even found some exercise ball workouts on YouTube. So some days when I just kind of want to do a little bit something extra, but not something as intensive as DDP yoga, I'll pull up one of those and just do that on the exercise ball. And it's great. Um, I also, I ordered a stool to put in my sauna because I've been using a metal chair, which when that gets warm is very uncomfortable. So we got a wooden stool, so it'll be a little more comfortable. The first one we ordered, we had to return because it was too high. Um, it didn't say the height that I could find in it. And then when I when I ordered it, it was just it was a countertop stool, and that won't work in the um, in the sauna thing that I have. And I'm able to do that before I work out really heavy to kind of loosen my muscles up in advance. But yeah, so that's what's going into my gym. I'm gonna record things as we turn it from a catch-all room into a home gym. Um, I'm super excited. Um, I did see some of the weight machines that I want for sale on the Facebook marketplace group. And I'm kind of going between, should I buy a brand new one for like $375, like save up for that? Or do I just buy one of these for like a hundred bucks and rent a U-Haul for 20 bucks? Cause it will not fit in my van, um, to bring it home. So we're going to see how that goes. I don't know. We'll find out, but I will see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Love y'all. Bye.